Hello, my YouTube fam. As you saw my last video, I did one roll of pennies, dimes, nickels, and quarters. This time, I'm going to go up it by one, and I'm going to do two pennies, two dimes, two nickels, and two quarters. Now, let's see what we can find on these bad boys. I already got my scale already. I got my microscope already with my second monitor hooked up so you can see what's on my second monitor. And let's see what we can find, shall we? Well, what you do, fam, I already broke into the two rolls of quarters. I haven't examined them yet. Um, as you see, that's the first roll of quarters I broke into. There ain't nothing worth mentioning on the edges yet. You can see they're also pretty good. The reason why they made the quarters with the edges like this, so they're like that is where they used to make them out of silver people used to like snips little pieces of silver off to make more coins and they did that so you couldn't do that no more for security purposes that's why they did it for dimes as well and half dollars silver dollars and so on that line to have these type of edges so people couldn't snip pieces off and make new make more money out of it this is my second roll and you got it i mean look at this guy right here for 1996, you've got to admit, he actually has a pretty good hairstyle. <laughs> well, let's see here. Maybe right here. Maybe. He looks like he stands out like he's not a clad coin. Maybe right there, if I doubt it. So let's go through these coins and find what we can find. Well, my YouTube fam, these are the quarters that were all statehood quarters that I checked out. I couldn't see nothing, no DDOs, no DDRs, no die chips, no Ws, no Ss. So depressing, but oh well. I got all this. This is my first stack. I kept these quarters for one purpose, I'm going to show you the backs of them, so I think they're pretty cool. And this is my second stack of quarters. As you can see, the top of quarters is 1997. This has an eagle on the back, so basically it's not going to be silver, so it's not going to be worth nothing. But let's find out what we find, shall we? Well, my YouTube fam, went through all those two rolls of quarters. Those are the ones that are going to go and be recycled, because that's how I do it. Any money I don't use, I go and... Take back to the, the bank, use their kiosk, and recycle it because they don't charge me to do that. But then we got these coins right here. So let's give you a big screen view of why I kept them. <clears throat> okay. This is the Wyoming quarter. And the reason why I kept this is to show you something. If you look right over here by, by his tail, if you see an extra piece right there that's like a die chip between his tail and his butt that'll make this quarter worth money I mean, this quarter as is is worth 25 cents but always look between the tail and his butt to see if there's like a die chip there so if there is then you got a little extra money in your pocket right there I kept this one I'm not keeping this one either it's, going, it's recycled but I wanted to show you this North Dakota Let's see what's out there. I mean, isn't that nice? Mount Rushmore in North Dakota. I just want to show you guys some nice coins, that's all. We've got Indiana. Because of the race car. That's pretty cool. Then we got the state I live in, the Golden Arches, you got Arches National Park in Utah. This is the state I live in, 2014. We actually have that landmark in Utah, so it'll actually work for you. Then we got Pictured Rocks in Michigan. Now could you imagine actually going to Michigan and seeing that? Wouldn't that be so nice? 
I mean, I'd be taking an actual real picture of that because a tree on a its own little perch like that is so sweet. That'd be so beautiful to see. And then, River of No Return in Idaho. Isn't that, isn't that nice? <laughs> That'd be so cool to ride. I'd love to be on the river like that. She know I'd return. And then we've got Colorado. And there's beautiful Rocky Mountains. We've got Rocky Mountains here in Utah as well, so nothing special there, but still it's a nice quarter. For 2006. And then we got Mount Rushmore again. In North Dakota. In North Dakota. You gotta admit, they, they actually did that one pretty good. Yes, I think they did. And then, this one I'm just showing you because this is why you don't carry metal change and stuff in your pockets. I mean, this is of course 1966 headquarter, but this could have been worth money. If it would actually have died chips or wasn't so torn up. I mean, look at that. Look how bad that is. So whoever had this must have keys in their pocket and just ripped this cord to heck. Let's see if we find the other one. I know I had... Oh, I think it was this one. I'm thinking this one was an error. Uh, to raise it up. And I would say that because we have deep the eyes right there compared to that one. And those two are fine. They have deep that eye is right there. I mean, those are the only two things that really stand out about this whole quarter is those two eyes right there. Those could be die chips. Well, not die chips. Those could be, uh, <laughs> Heavy punches or or, or dry chips, who knows? But look how deep they are compared to the rest. So I'm gonna hold on to this one, do a little bit more research on this one, and I will keep you guys informed. Next up will be the nickels.